this isn't a very unusual scene. You've probably been to parties like this yourself. Lots of them. A bunch of us kids get together at somebody's house every now and then, and there's music and dancing and just general fun. The only thing different about this particular party was what happened to spoil the good time everyone was having. It all began when the telephone rang, and Susan went to answer. Hello? Hmm? Yes, this is Susan. Wait a minute, will you? I can't hear a thing. Hey, Jerry, mm -hmm. I'm on the phone. Oh, all right. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, who cut the music? Jerry. Now, what He's did you say? Phone. When? Who was driving? How bad was he hurt? Somebody got hurt. Well, thanks for calling. Oh, yeah, some of them are here. Sally, Jack, and you know the gang. I thought Bob and Ted would be here, too. I bet they wish now they had come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Well, who was that? No. It was Betty. She and Dan were on the way to the movies when they saw this accident. It was Bob and Ted. Hey, mm -hmm. Bob and Ted have been in an accident? Were they hurt? Bob and Ted didn't get hurt. It was someone else, a pedestrian. Bob was driving and Ted was with him. Gosh, I bet they feel awful. They ought to. The police found a bottle in the car. Oh, brother, they're really in trouble. Well, it serves them right. Anybody that'd be dumb enough to drink. Nobody should drink and drive. I mean, there's no excuse for drinking under any conditions. That's just what I've always thought. Drinking's just about the worst thing you can do. Hey, now, wait a minute. Who said anything about drinking? I thought all you said was they found a bottle in the car. Was there anything said about whether Bob and Ted had been drinking or not? Betty didn't say that. Yeah. It looks like you're pretty quick to condemn Bob and Ted. I thought they were your friends. I'm not either condemning them. I'm condemning drinking. That's what I said. You did not. You said anybody would drink at all, didn't she? And we were all talking about Bob and Ted, and that's who you were talking about, too. Yeah, Sally, how come you say that? You're prejudiced. I am not oh. prejudiced. It's a fact. Alcohol is poison, and you know it. Hey, now, wait a minute. Let's not get all riled up about this. Well, she started it. Some of us don't feel the same about drinking as she does, and she knows it. She's just trying to find an excuse to tell us what we ought to do. Oh, you make me so mad. I guess what you mean is now, you just... Sally, don't get mad. Jack didn't mean anything. Gosh, how do we get off on this anyway? Well, that's what I say. Well, if people are friends, they ought to be able to talk about something without everybody blowing their tops. Gosh, yes, Sally. I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to hurt your feelings. You see it one way and I see another. Well, now, that's more like it. Now, come on, Sally. Jack said he was sorry, so let's just forget it. Well, okay. But I still don't agree with him. I still think drinking is wrong. Well, well that depends, Sally. Jack's not asking you to change your mind. And no, you're always just no but tell me one thing. What's so wrong with drinking? What have you got against it? Well, well in I... the first place, everybody knows it doesn't do you any good. It can ruin your health. Is that what you believe? Do you believe that old scare stuff? Pooey. Well, maybe you're both right. A lot of people drink occasionally, but I guess it could really fix you if you concentrate on it. Sure, just like a lot of things. Pickles. You can't say pickles by themselves are bad for you, but if you eat too many, you get sick. It's the same thing with drinking. You drink so much that you don't get the vitamins and stuff you need, and wham, you get liver trouble or something. All I can say is alcohol can't be as bad as some people think it is. My folks don't think it's poison either. Well, you should have heard what my dad had to say about this the other day. We got to talking about alcohol. You see, Jack, an occasional drink never hurt anyone. Sure, liquor can cause you plenty of trouble. It'll make you drunk if you drink too much of it. And I think it's criminal if anybody drives after he's been drinking. But let me tell you something. A drink before dinner in the evening is just about the best thing I know of to settle your nerves and give you an appetite. My father always had it around the house, and we've had it. And I don't object to your taking a drink once in a while, but I just don't want to ever hear of your being drunk. And my dad wouldn't tell me I could drink a little if I wanted to. Not if it's as dangerous as you seem to think it is. How do you know you won't get drunk? Look, I'm no baby. I know what I can do and what I can't do, even with drinking. Oh, I've heard that before. Anybody that drinks will talk like that. That's just the kind of talk that'll get you in trouble. If you don't think alcohol will hurt you physically, what about the way you're likely to act? You can't say it doesn't affect your actions. And I know somebody who'd back me up on that, Reverend Brewster. He was talking about it recently at young people's meeting in the church. 
I believe in freedom for young people. You should make your own decisions, but only in the light of all available facts. And I don't see how anyone who knows and understands all the facts can condone the use of alcohol. It is a question of right or wrong. For the things people do when they have taken alcohol are not directed by the clearest thinking and the most conscientious judgment. Spiritual values and human dignity are forgotten. That's why the use of alcohol is wrong. And that settles it for me. As far as I'm concerned, it's wrong. Well, Sally, I go to church too. And in my church, they don't say it's wrong to use alcohol. Whether you drink or whether you don't drink is up to you. Getting drunk is something else again. Well, how do you feel about drinking, Susan? Actually, I don't care one way or the other. Drinking just doesn't interest me. My folks serve drinks once in a while. They never told me that I couldn't drink. I'm just not interested. But it's all right with me if other people want to. That is, if they behave themselves. What about the people who become alcoholic? Doesn't that bother you, Susan? Why, these alcoholics, they... If you mean my dad, go ahead and say it. Sure, he's an alcoholic. Everybody knows it. I'm used to it. When a member of your family gets that way, you try and hide it at first. But you can't. You might as well face it. When Dad found out what was wrong with him and started taking treatment, our whole family got educated. Dr. Brune spent a lot of time helping me to understand. We had a long talk about people like my dad. Alcoholism is a kind of illness that affects different types of people. We're not entirely sure why some people who drink become alcoholics and others do not. We do know that most alcoholics can be helped and recover through proper treatment. Your father's illness involves more than just his use of alcohol. Most drinkers can control their drinking. Alcoholics cannot. Your father is one of them. My father's just one of those people who couldn't control his drinking. Then I think you'd be afraid to drink. Just because my dad's an alcoholic doesn't mean I'm going to be one. You don't inherit alcoholism, according to Dr. Brune. No, sir. That's not going to keep me from going along with the gang. That's what I say. If you want to be one of the gang, you've got to act like one of the gang. You don't want people to think you're a square, do you? Do you mean to say you think you have to drink? No, but... I don't drink, and I get along all right with the gang. Sure, but take I... Take this gang here. We have a lot of fun when we're together, but my folks would take a dim view of my coming if there was drinking. There are plenty of guys who have a drink with their families, but when they get outside the house, they drink deliberately, just to get high and put on an act. I think that's what our parents are concerned about, as much as anything. You're the only one, Jerry, who hasn't stated his opinion. Haven't you got anything to say? Well, yeah, boy, everybody else put in his two cents. How come you're holding out? I'm not holding out. I'm just listening. Well, come on, let us in on it. How do you feel about drinking? Well, now, that's a pretty hard question to answer. Why? Nobody else seemed to have any trouble, although we don't all agree. <laughs> Say, you know, that reminds me of... A hard question to answer. The kids don't realize it, but this is the first time we've really said what we think about drinking. Listening to what all of them think and believe, I'm not exactly sure where I stand. With most things, there's a hard and fast rule. Either they're right or they're wrong. And most everybody agrees as to which is which. But drinking, who is right? Sally, we all know where she stands and her reasons. I think it's wrong. I believe what Reverend Brewster says. I think drinking is wrong for anybody. On the other hand, Jack's opinion doesn't seem too unreasonable. And my dad says a drink now and then never hurt anybody. And I think if you want to be one of the gang, you've got to act like one of them. And Tom, although his father's an alcoholic, he doesn't seem to be afraid of becoming one himself. The chances of being an alcoholic, don't worry me. Some people can drink and some can't. You can't blame it all on alcohol. Susan doesn't seem to be for either side, but she did bring up a point. In my church, they don't say the use of alcohol is wrong in itself. Personally, I don't care one way or the other about drinking. But it's all right with me if other people want to. That is, if they behave themselves. Some of the kids feel you've got to drink to be one of the gang. That's what I say. If you want to be one of the gang, you've got to act like one of the gang. You don't want people to think you're a square, do you? Do you mean to say you think you have to drink? I don't drink, and I get along all right with the gang. 
Well, I think our parents are concerned mainly about kids who drink deliberately to get high and put on an act. It's not a simple question, is it? There seem to be many different opinions, even among our own gang. Each one of us must make up his own mind. It isn't easy. What do you think? What about drinking? <laughs>